what's up pisces welcome back to my channel and if you're new what's up come on in here hop on the couch kick your feet up relax and enjoy yourselves boo because you're now in the house say your girl be you i'm your hostess with the mostest so relax grab your weed your blunts your drink your drugs i don't give a fuck just do you all right but first allow me to say thank you to all my beautiful subscribers who purchased my beautiful decks and gifts from my Amazon wish list. Thank you, booze. Mwah. I love you. Greatly appreciate it. And I want to thank all my beautiful subscribers for all the love and support that you show me. You don't have to, but you do. Thanks for rocking with me. Mwah, mwah, mwah. I love you, booze. And if you would like to donate to my channel, all my information will be down in the description box below. Okay? All right, Pisces. So let's get started. All right, so as I was shuffling the song Say My Name by um, Destiny's Child was playing. So go check that song out. All right? But yeah. So from what I can see from these cards, what they're telling me is Spirit is saying, Spirit is saying release your ex. Once you release your ex, this new love, which is your soulmate, that's coming in, or if, if y'all not already dealing with this person, this will, this um, situ, this relationship will ascend to higher. You know, it'll, it'll get more committed, basically. You know what I'm saying? All right. But first, you have to release your ex. You know, so release your ex in order to give this new relationship a chance. And once you do that, retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. All right. You guys have a lot of passion. You guys are very attracted to each other. You guys like a, like each other a lot, I see. All right? But somebody, and I don't know if this is going to be either way. It could be you or them. But someone has to release their ex in order to give this relationship a chance. You know? All right? Because you deserve love. This is your soulmate. This new love right here. All right? But... You gotta release your ex booze. Alright. But let's get some tarot. See what's going on with the table. See what they talking about, All right. And I've already pre-shuffled. Because I ain't trying to be here all day. And I know neither are you. All right, so, yeah, like I said, this is a soulmate, yeah, this will be, will be a, soul, a soulmate returning from your past that's looking for your forgiveness due to a third-party triangle. They had you in. Mm -hmm. They needed to make a decision between you and somebody else. Could be dealing with a Gemini, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus. Leo, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Yeah, but this person loves reminiscing about the time, the good times you guys had. Mm -hmm. They're passing verdict on judgment and they want to let go of all judgments and grudges so that you guys can move forward and reconcile. Yeah. This person kept a lot of secrets, kept you in the dark. You could have been dealing with a king of wands, this king of wands, king, uh, Aries Leo Sagittarius. This person was very charismatic, very charming. But yeah, you felt like they took you for granted because you literally carried the relationship. Aww. And you felt overloaded and overburdened by this relationship as well. You know, it was a, this relationship felt like a burden to you. But yeah, I see you put it to rest because of a um an argument you guys had due to them having you in a third party triangle. <clears throat> Excuse me. Could have been a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Yeah. This 
person have a, I still have a lot of hope and faith in you guys. Yeah. Even though you took some time to be alone when you found out about this other woman. Could have been Taurus and Libra. Could have been doing uh Taurus, yeah. Also Aquarius or a Virgo. This person just feels you um cold and distant and hard to reach. Yep, you Gucci, doing you, living your life like it's golden, every sense. You ain't got a care in the world. And this person is still in love with you. Even though you holding back your feelings, they are still in love with you. Even though they don't, you know, they may not, they may not show it. They may not walk around and show it up, but this person is deeply in love with you, with this King of Cups here. We dealing with a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. But like I said, you're living your life like it's golden. And they're going through a profound sadness that they had to move on from you in a relationship. Oh, yeah, they stomach's hurting. That they had to move on from you. But, yeah, she ain't got a care in the world. Look at the expression on her face. She's Gucci. Life is great. Life is good. Life is awesome. Mm-hmm. Could have been dealing with a Leo. Taurus Virgo Capricorn. But yeah, they did you dirty. And they want to come apologize for it. They want to come apologize for doing you wrong. They want to come apologize for the unexpected ending. Could have been dealing with a Scorpio. Yeah, they want to apologize for backstabbing you and portraying your trust over and over again. And they want to offer their cup of love. Let's get any cups here. Yep, something was brought to their attention, but this um, relationship has been stagnant. It ain't been going anywhere. It's been suspended up in the air because they um, was with somebody else. But now here they come, coming back because the grass wasn't greener on the other side. Because now they're willing to make a sacrifice because they're seeing things in a different perspective. So here they come, running back. Yep, some have them something. Why something was brought to their attention. That they're looking at things in a different perspective. So here they come. They realize that that other person wasn't you. And it'll never amount to, amount to you. They made a, a, made a, a big, a grave mistake. Yeah, but they sit and spy on you. Ever since you moved on. Ever since you found out about, you know, their secret lover. You know, because my Pisces, uh, high priestess card is my secret lover, a secret mistress card. So, yeah, ever since you found out about their mistress, their secret lover, they've just been spying on you on your social media or, or if y'all live in the same area, the same neighborhood. Hell, the same apartment building. They just been spying on you. They've been watching you know this. They know that they've definitely been watching you, keeping an eye on you. But yeah, I see you moved on from co common waters because this, rela re this relationship was chaotic. It's like you had to fight off monsters and shit. Could have been dealing with another Pisces. But yeah, it was just too much bullshit going on. Yeah, this person, it was some toxic shit hanging over your relationship. And it, there was a fight, you know. Could have been up some um, love messages that you saw or what love produced, you know. And then, you know, they, for some of you, they could have got somebody else pregnant. 
And yeah, that caused that shit caused a fight. And with this devil card here, they could have literally had, like I said, you and somebody else on the stream. So yeah, that caused confrontations and jealousy. Confrontations, je jealousy, and fights with other motherfuckers. It was ugly. It got ugly. Yeah, now this person can't get no sleep. They have sleepless nights ever since she blocked them. Mm-hmm. They just been replaying shit over and over in their head. They can't stop thinking about it. But now they really they ready to put in the work. In the relationship. They ready to put in the work now. Yeah, they ready to take a leap of faith and come back around. Mm-hmm. They ready to come back around due to a third party, um, due to some heartbreak, due to a breakup, due to, due to heartbreak, due to a breakup from a heartbreak. Did I say that right? Due to heartbreak from a breakup. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Yeah, they willing to, um, they don't care where y'all may end up. They just want to go on a new journey. A new journey direction with you. They willing to take that chance. They don't care where you guys may end up. This person is, um, a, this, something came to a full circle with this person. But this person was kind of bipolar, you know, up and down in their feelings and shit. You know, because you got the hell at the bottom and the heavens at the top. So one minute they was cool, the next minute they was hell on wheels. Yeah, but I see you got your guards up. You took a stance. You're not trying to see eye, eye to eye me halfway or compromise. Mm-hmm. And the Seven of Wands is my accusatory card. That's because you still don't trust them. And you're still feeling a little, a little paranoid. And like I said, my Seven of Wands is, a, is uh, my accusatory card. So you could be accusing them of something or dealing with somebody in their past. You know? But they want to offer you a new brand new beginning. Emotional beginning. Yeah. They want to offer you a solid beginning, a new solid beginning. They just need to get the molasses out their ass. But with my night, this night of Pentacles, I don't, I don't like how it look with him back there with her. Cause on on the right of way deck, it don't normally have a demon in your ear. But on this deck, you know this shit don't feel right. It's like that offer don't feel right. Like he offering her some shit, but you know the offer ain't right. You know, so maybe they still dealing with the other motherfucker, you know, somebody else. Just take it how you may, how it may resonate. But yeah, this offer doesn't seem right to me. And you see he dropping money in the back of her and shit, but she don't notice that. She just see the Bitcoin he offering her. You know, but some ain't, some ain't uh, right. That's what I take out of that, you know. Apply it to your life. Yeah, but this person got some clarity now. And they want to bring balance back into the relationship. Possibly for getting somebody pregnant. And possibly, poss uh, uh, they want to bring balance for, bring balance from a third party situation. From backstabbing you. Ego tripping one up and you and shit. But I say they got somebody pregnant because on most of these cars, somebody is pregnant. And somebody is pregnant back there. So maybe they want to bring balance to bring, you know, getting somebody else pregnant because they're dealing with a Sagittarius. But yeah, they want to come and reveal their truth to you now. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, they no longer want to treat you like an option. They have a lot of options. But yeah, you step back. You step back once you found out, you know, they started a new love affair with somebody else. But this person still 
feels that you that soulmate. But you step back to do you. Once you found out they had options and shit. And got other people pregnant. Yeah, you had to get yourself together on an emotional, physical, and spiritual level. Mm -hmm. But this person still feels, like I said, you're their soulmate. And they like they find you appeal, uh, appealing and very attractive. They find you very pretty. They love staring at you. They like just looking at you and shit. Yeah, you guys could have been married in a long-term relationship, but this person is ready to move forward with you. Yeah. But I see you still wounded, holding on to some baggage. And, yeah. You still wounded. Mm -hmm. Holding on to a grudge. This could have been an ongoing battle where you found yourself drained and depleted in this relationship. Could have been dealing with a cancer. Taurus. But yeah, this person want to um, offer you the world now. They no longer want to be a player, be a player, and be in and out. They don't want to no longer juggle, juggle the, um, juggle you and other people and shit. They want to offer you the world. They see you as their world. They want to give you the world. But for some of you, you know, they feel that you're not in interested anymore. You're done. Finito. They was a life that they was a lesson learned. And you cool. Could have been dealing with Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio, um, Taurus, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Yeah. Yeah, you cut this person off after you found out, after a third party situation, after you found out, yeah, they was with somebody else and they had a home with this person as well. You cut their ass off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. this, person, this person was very cold and distant and very unemotional. They had a very, a blocked heart. Could have been Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Yeah, this person still is trying to manifest a relationship with you because they find you hella, hella sexy. Hella sexy. And attractive and bold. And and that you make shit, that you get shit done with a lot of passion. And you make shit happen with a lot of passion. And yeah, they've been crying over spilled milk. That's why they're about to initiate some type of action. Because they've been crying over, crying over spilled milk. They're crying over the relationship. They hurt. Yeah, they hurt and depressed. Yeah, but now that you know the truth about their ass, they just waiting for you to come forward and open up. Mm-hmm. But they know you're not about that nonsense no more. I mean, they know you about, yeah, you ain't with the nonsense. Yeah, you thinking with your heart. Versus your head. You're thinking with your head versus your heart. With the Queen of Swords here. You know, when she shows up, she's hurt, torn, tired. But she ain't playing no motherfucking games. And she ain't got no problem cutting your motherfucking ass off. If you don't come correct. You could have been dealing, dealing with a King of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But this person is stable. This person is very loyal and stable. Likes being committed and believes in family and marriage. They could have a lot of money. Yeah, but I see you blocked them because some was illuminated to you. Yeah, them meeting other people. Them meeting up with other people and shit. And possibly chill. Like I said, a pregnancy was eliminated to you. Yeah, third party situation. So you blocked their ass. Could have been dealing with a Leo, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. All right. Now let's see what they want to tell you.
damn nails. All right, first card out. We got the uninhibited. I love that we can be messy together. Uh, the exhibitionist. I love how fearless you are. Mm. Don't worry about that nail, y'all. It's gonna get a fix. I broke it the same day I got it, got them done. So how about that? The contemplation. I wish I could hear what you were thinking. The storm. I want to get all soapy and wet. Ooh. It's spontaneous. I want to have sex with you everywhere. All right, all right. The blessing. I love all parts of you. You are perfect to me. Aww. What's up? Let's get some cards on how they truly feel about you. Shadows, searching, one more, awakening, yeah, because you got some clarity now, so you realize that other person ain't it, you it, honey bunnies, mm-hmm. I feel after like you block this person and you know they've been going through some shit. You know, life ain't been right. It's been a little chaotic and shit. They've been going into their shadow self, dealing it and they you know, they shadow self and shit. But they've been going soul searching. They've been soul searching. And they had an awakening, like I said, they had some clarity. They had an awakening with that awakening card here. They know you the one for them. That's why they still feel a pull. A pull towards you. All right. All right. But let's get you. Uh, let's get you an advice card. We got skull of light, illumination, oh, clarity, huh? Where's the book? And then I can read it for you. Give me one second. Okay, should the skull of light enter your life, know that it is time to open yourself truly to the clarity of the bright illumination. Allow yourself to be seen, to act, to see, and act upon what is shown to you. The time has passed for hiding, for pretending, and for swallowing our discomfort by accepting the status quo when it really doesn't suit us. All right? So I'm going to leave it here. And if this resonated with you guys, go ahead and give your girl a big thumbs up. If not, you can give me a big thumbs down. I really don't give a fuck as long as you take heed to the message. That's all that matters to me, all right? So thanks for watching. And until next time, same bad time, same bad, <laughs> same bad channel. 
All right, deuces.